I would like to invite, invite up a lady I've known for quite a few years. Um, I can tell you firsthand she's a darn good cook. And <laughs> um, Barbara and I have been married. Barbara, would you like to come up here, please? Barbara and I have been married for 26 years. <laughs> 26 years ago, I was a single parent of about four years, and so I decided to find the perfect wife. So I developed a formula that would find me the perfect wife. And I put every female I knew, and there was a lot of that, that was eligible, and I put them into the formula, and there was one person that scored above everybody else, and her name was Barbara. And so I went and asked her to marry me. <laughs> and she wisely said yes. <laughs> But um, we've, we've been told by letter that if Barbara gives health advice at functions like this, three years jail. Three years jail. Hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? How skew if is our legal system? Um, I've, I've asked, the, asked them in the past, I said, could you identify what part of it is dangerous? Is it the uh, fresh air that she advocates? Is it the going to bed early? Is it the good diet? Um, what part? And of course, they had no answer. They just said, well, you know, she's making claims to cure cancer. We do not make claims. So, Barbara, um, if you, I'm going to put this on you. Just to keep Barbara on track, I'm going to stay here with you. And, but she's only going to stay. <laughs> Um, Barbara, you mostly now work outside of Australia. Well, you pretty much you work all the time outside of Australia. Tell me why do you work outside of Australia? Well, the reason why I work outside of Australia is because I've been told that if I give any health advice or if I speak on health, in fact, the ori original sentence was $10,000 fine and 10 years in prison. And so in 2020, when everything locked down, I just did Zooms all over the world. My ban happened in late 2019. I did Zooms to Africa, uh, America, England. So early in 2021, the HCCC contacted me and said, we notice you're doing Zooms. Now I'm up in the bush, <laughs> Zooming outside, you know, to other countries. They said, we notice you're doing Zooms. This is a violation of your prohibition order. Final warning or three years in prison. So that's when Michael said, we've got to get you out of here. I and made so, you an offer. Well, at first Michael made me an offer. He said, this was what, when I was originally banned, he said, you can, you can retire your retirement age or you can go overseas. I said, I'll go overseas because I, I feel great. I don't have any health problems at all. There, there is a great result to, to the formula. And I have never had so much information in my brain and I have never had so much experience. I think it would be wrong to stop now. And so he started booking me overseas. So 2021, I was away nine months. 2022, I was away seven months. Uh, last year, I was away nine months. This year, it will end up being nine months. So I'm here at the moment because I said to Michael, I want to be home April and December, January for uh, school holidays for the children and grandchildren to come up to Misty. And so yeah. that's what he allows me to do. He allows me <laughs> to be home then. <laughs> yeah. So Barbara, this is actually May, you go to a, the United States. In fact, I'd like to take this short moment to actually thank the HCCC because the HCCC and what they've done of casting Barbara out has propelled her onto a larger stage. Um, Barbara. <laughs> you see lots of results. You can tell us some of the results that you see. Um, you know, this is not health advice, anyone. This is purely, you know, information and um, entertainment. But Barbara, do you... You have people come up and they talk to you in the street and they give you experiences where you've helped them. Do you want to share some of them with us, please? 
Well, last year I was in um, Ireland. I was in the main airport then, Dublin. And the ladies that were picking me up to, I was going to do a week seminar, had to go to the bathroom. So they were so worried about missing me. You can tell I've just been to America, can't you? I didn't say toilet, I said bathroom. And they were so worried about missing me, they said, can you just wait here? We've just got to go to the, to the bathroom. And while I was standing there, a man approached me, and he would have been mid-50s. He said, are you Barbara O'Neill? I said, I am. He said, I just want to tell you that my hand was, was shrinking up to the point where I couldn't even use my hand. All the, the tendons in there had gone hard. And he said, and I saw it your lecture on YouTube on castor oil. So he said, I've been putting castor oil into my hand every day for several months. He said, look at my hand. He said, I can pay golf again now. He said, I just want to thank you. <laughs> Such simple things. <laughs> and they're, they're the stories I love and that's really why I do what I do. And there are many, many stories I was I've just come back from Tasmania where I visited my daughters and I was in the airport in Sydney waiting for my flight and these two airline pilots walked past and one of them stopped and said, are you Barbara O'Neill? Whenever they stop and go like this, I just nod, yeah, yeah, I'm the one. <laughs> he said, oh, I just want to thank you. Oh, we have learned so much. Um, I get so much information and I love the stories about people who've been able to get off their medication and take control of their life. And this is what I tell people all the time. God's government is a government of freedom. Yes. And freedom is based on free choice. Yes. I am the master of my destiny. I am the one that chooses what I do and what I do not do to my body. Now, many people say, well, that's pretty obvious. Well, it is not. It is not obvious and people are being hoodwinked, you could say, they're being manipulated. I think the media, the pharmaceutical company, you know, this will be taken down now if we put this up on YouTube for just even saying that. And isn't that incredible that, that we've come to a time on planet Earth where this is happening? I think it's crept up on people and I'm sure